Today, I want to go through a little bit about the most popular education franchise in the world. There's over 15,000 Kumin centers across the world. I believe there's 48 different countries that they're operating in. Today, I'm going to focus more on the Kumon franchises that are, are open and operating in the United States. I'm going to base this video on facts, on the information that Kumon has disclosed in their franchise disclosure document from 2020. For those that are not familiar, an FDD is a federally uh, regulated document that every franchisor must register. Um, and there's a lot of different states that regulate it. And on a federal level, it's regulated by the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. So this document is generally over 200 pages. Our analysts have gone through the 2020 version for Kumon to take out some of the most relevant information for you um, and those that might be considering a Kumon franchise. First, I just want to start with a stat. They've educated over 4.2 million students over the last 60 years. It was founded in 1954 in Japan. The initial franchise fee is $1,000, which is definitely on the low range for any franchise and especially an education franchise. Um, the total investment range is between 74,000 and 156,000. I wanna break, show you how it's broken out. Some of the major uh, line items are expenses while you're doing the training at the corporate offices, improving the space. Um, so leasehold improvements are gonna vary between 31,000 and 60,000. Rent, furniture, equipment, uh, the fixtures, notebook computers at the Cumin, Cent Cumin Center, uh, business license, uh, the recommended reading list, payroll costs for assistance, new center marketing, as well as additional funds to start up your business. So those are some of the key um, franchise costs uh, to start up a, a Kumon Learning Center. And, but the ongoing franchise costs and fees are the royalties are really split between um, how many students you have, new students, full paying students, so this is how they're making their money. They, they make $1,000 on the franchise fee. It's more symbolic, but they're making a lot of money from the royalty structure. Um, so as of the end of 2019, there were 1,547 1, Kumon centers across North America. Uh, they do not disclose their actual revenue, unfortunately, which is pretty rare for a franchise that has 1,500 locations to not be disclosing their revenue. I, that's definitely a bit of a red flag, um, but you can see the number of um, students that are enrolled and they break that out across different categories. Um, and then on how much Kumon is making, their franchise fees and royalties have gone up from 2017. This is again, the parent company, $130 million to $143 million and they're operating a net income of $27 million. They've nearly doubled their net income from 2017 to 2019. Um, and they, this is after income taxes and different, um, different uh, operating expenditures. So getting at the net income number of $27 million uh, is very healthy when you look at the income statement of, um, of a franchisor. And they compete with many franchises such as, as Club Z, Mathnasium, Tutoring Club, STEM Tree. Uh, there's all different types of education franchises. We have over 60 on Vetted Biz, including Kumon, to review and compare. And I encourage you to download our guide if you're interested in investing in the education space. We have a free industry guide. Uh, that are that basically goes through the key financial information, uh, the overall uh, economics, and just how the general industry is headed for the education space.